Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the fill holes in the KitchenAid dishwasher. It's going to be an easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a flatbed screwdriver, a 516 inch nut driver, an adjustable wrench, and a large pair of pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new fill hose. The fill hose connects the water inlet valve to the inlet valve. The main reason why it would need to be replaced is if it breaks, causing a water leak. To get to the part, we need to open the door. Next, we need to pull out the lower dish rack. Using the large pliers, unscrew the large nut on the left side that holds the valve inlet. Now we need to remove the two Phillips screws at the top to release the dishwasher from the counter. Get down and using the flat blade screwdriver, turn the locking pins quarter turn in any directions and then take them out. Remove the access panel. Check if there is some leeway and then slowly pull out the dishwasher. If there is not enough length, disconnect the water supply and the drain hoses. Use the 516 inch nut driver and the wrench. Slowly pull out the dishwasher. Carefully remove the insulation from around the clip and then roll it up. Place a towel under the water inlet valve and using the pliers slide the hose clamp. Using the flat blade screwdriver, remove the holes of the water inlet valve. Repeat the procedure at the top valve and take the old fill holes off. Take the drain holes out of the retainer clip. Remove the holes from the retainer. Remove the towel. Using the pliers, take the hose clamps off the old fill holes and put them aside. This is the old fill hose next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Using the pliers, put the clamps on the new fill hose. Slide the end of the fill hose onto the water inlet valve at the bottom and using the pliers, secure it with the clamp. Move up and install the fill hose onto the fill valve sleeve and using the pliers, secure it with the clamp. Put the fill hose into the retainer and slide the fill valve into the opening. Open the dishwasher, push the fill valve in with the left hand and install the nut from inside with the other hand. Tighten it with the pliers. 
put the insulation down, snap it around the locking pin, and then slide the dishwasher onto the counter. Make sure the drain holes, the inlet holes, and the power cord are not pinched and are pulled through the divider. Secure the dishwasher to the countertop with two Phillips screws. Connect the hoses if needed using the wrench and the 5 16 inch nut driver. Install the lower dish rack. At this point, turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in, run the dishwasher and check for leaks. Install the access panel and secure it with the two tabs by turning them with the flat lead screwdriver for a quarter of the turn in any direction. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.